Hello everyone, welcome to VAE Live. This is the voice of arts and entertainment. My name is Ethan, and today we're joined by two very special guests brought to you by Asia Times Square. Hello guys, my name is Bomhan. I'm a K-pop trainee in FM Entertainment, and we are on our first U.S. tour. And this is our Dallas stop, and we're so excited to meet everybody. Uh, my name is Jay Chang. I am a K-pop rookie soloist, and uh, yeah, I'm on this tour. Been a privilege and an honor to be invited, and can't wait to um, continue. So Bomhan and Jay have a performance tonight here in Arlington, Texas, so I'm going to do a quick little interview before their show. My first question for you guys is, what are y'all most excited for for tonight's show here in Arlington? What am I most excited for for this show here in Arlington? Um, definitely meeting the fans, because uh, if you didn't know, this is a, kind of like our first time being in Dallas. And we did a show last Thursday, and we were able to connect with a lot of the fans, and the energy was just a lot greater than we expected. We came with no expectations and it just completely blew us away. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to kind of get an opportunity to see that all over again. Yeah, and, uh, so we're very excited. People. Very yeah. excited for you guys. Jay? Um, honestly, like coming into Asia Times Square and seeing the stage, seeing the festival itself has been very exciting. And I think that being able to share the stage with Pomon and to be able to perform our um, what we have to show in front of uh, a very lively audience is going to be a really exhilarating experience. Yeah, and it's going to be outside too, which is very interesting. It's very cool. I, I can't wait for it. Oh, yeah. yeah, so like y'all said, this is y'all's first time in Dallas. What do you like most about the city so far? Um, You know, since we've been here, we've definitely had, I would say, a minor culture shock. Okay. Um, Being from New York and New Jersey, respectively, we're around a lot of industry and cities and this kind of bustling landscape but um you know being here in uh Arlington Dallas uh we first thing we noticed was that everything's very open fresh the air's clean uh the clouds are beautiful, beautiful clouds. um you know and uh also like first and foremost the people have been nothing but welcoming to us in our f few days that we've been here so yes, we've we been very, very lucky. friendly people here in Texas mm -hmm. um so I want to get to know you guys on a more personal level, level as do the viewers. So I want to ask you guys, how long have each of you guys been in the music industry? Oof. Um, we were actually friends before we came like to Korea and I started doing all this industry stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would say I've been a trainee for about a little bit over two years now. And uh, though we kind of started at a similar time, you kind of went first. So he's actually had a little bit more experience. Okay. So uh, my experience has been. A little bit over two years and... Yeah, my experience started a little bit around this time three years ago. So, uh, yeah, we started out as wanting to, you know, explore this industry together. Um, life did what it does. Uh, I went first, came back, and then when I came back, he went. So we never really had aligning paths until now, and we're very thankful to have the opportunity to be here. So Yeah, yeah that's amazing. That's awesome. Um, so what made you guys choose the K-pop industry? I know it's a very... Right now, it's very popular. It's demanding. A lot of people love to watch it live on YouTube, on TikTok, social media, everything. Uh, K-pop requires a lot of choreography, dancing, performing, singing, rapping, just everything. So what is y'all's favorite aspect of K-pop, and why did y'all choose it? Um, well, we definitely uh, understand the challenges going into like this industry and all that. But when I was younger, uh, growing up in like New York, where there's not a lot of Asian representation, um, I felt always a little bit weird about just being myself. But then um, through like the internet and all that, I discovered bands like Big Bang, uh, Shiny, where I was like, oh, these people look like me and they're doing all these things. And like, I became like proud of being myself. Yeah, that's and awesome. then um, going down this path and then like developing this passion for dance, I wanted to be the same light for other people as like these people were for me. So uh, yeah, that's why I decided to go through with being a K-pop artist despite all these challenges. Sure. Yeah. For me, um, growing up with friends who were already into K-pop, they were really adamant that I check it out. Um, I didn't really know what to expect, so I went in with an open mind, and then I found myself extremely captivated by um, all the different expression, like whether it come from the voice, lyrics, dancing. Um, there were so many aspects to K-pop that really just made me excited to look at it, to experience it, and I wanted to be a part of it. Um, I think that the most important thing that really uh, captured me was definitely the expression. Like being able to express yourself, whether it be, you know, through your voice or through your body. K-pop amazed me. 
<laughs> yeah, um, definitely. Uh, it amazes a lot of people, and I'm amazed by it. I'm so excited for y'all's performance tonight. So what do you guys have in store for the future of your music career? What are y'all's dreams? Oof. Um, I know a lot of people who have just begun to follow me in my journey. It's a little bit, for lack of a better term, confused. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of things going on. Like, for example, we're like the first... Uh, K-pop trainees to ever go on tour and we're doing all these performances. Uh, but like, we, have they debuted it yet? Have they, like, not? Like, oh, what group is he in? There's a lot of questions, but what we ask for, like, the fans looking forward to our future is that they just take everything step by step. Because this is the beginning of a very, very long journey. And where this journey is leading, uh, I cannot, uh, particularly say, like, the specific next steps. However, the destination is that I want to be the biggest idol in the world. And that is where our destination is heading. And I hope everybody that we meet along this tour is just along for the ride. I like that. I like that. Jay, what about you? Um, For me, definitely my biggest goal when it comes to music is to be able to create my own artistry, my own musical identity, and be able to live through that. Okay. Um, definitely my whole life I've been around music. Uh, my father put me behind a drum set at the age of three. Uh, learned how to play the guitar. It wasn't until actually about three or four years ago where I actually started to sing. And um, I think all of that kind of came down together to become something that I guess is special to me when it comes to music. It's definitely my identity. So um, to have all the support of, you know, whether it be Homan, um or the fans, um, it means a lot to be able to just be myself express what's going on in my mind and people enjoy it so i think it, it's a win-win wow i love those responses very very deep uh, on a personal level i i like that i really like that so do you guys have any uh plans or upcoming shows for us outside of dallas after this uh yes we have shows in atlanta alabama we'll be returning to atlanta for a bunch of events actually mm -hmm. uh, we'll be emceeing at some stuff and we have our own private concerts and uh yeah if you guys want more information about uh the stops on, along this tour, you can follow f.m.tour on Instagram for all like the latest updates. And uh, yeah, how excited are you guys for tonight? As for your future shows, um, very excited always. But um, I find that it's very easy to kind of get lost in the moment and just kind of think to a head like, oh, show after show after show. Um, tonight we're performing with Asia Times Square. And that is all our focus. That, that is all what we are focused on. Amazing, amazing. And, uh, Jay? Yeah. Definitely, um, super excited to be performing, um, at Asia Times Square because this is, um, one of the more unique and exciting Definitely. Uh, events. Definitely. So, speaking of Asia Times Square, we are very thankful that they have brought us this show and our two special guests. So I want to end with this question. Asia Times Square strives to promote cultures while preserving traditions. How do you guys feel about this statement as Asian Americans? Promoting cultures and preserving traditions. That, well, I, we didn't hear about this message before we kind of came along for this performance, but hearing it now actually allows me to connect with it deeper. Because, um, if I understand it properly, um, I myself grew up in a very Asian American household in New York, and my family is, my family is first generation immigrants. Okay. So they moved here and then um, I kind of felt myself growing up in an American society away from my parents. Oh, so there was always this disconnect and right. I just grew up and I knew myself as American instead of like whatever my parents are. So uh, being able to kind of go back to my roots and like promoting culture with everything that my parents grew up with kind of is a great opportunity. I really like that. Definitely. Definitely is. What about you? What's your perception of this, uh, this statement, Jay? Um, I honestly really like it. Uh, growing up as um, mixed, um, I definitely had my own experiences with a bunch of different cultures. And to be able to uh, be in an environment where we're promoting cultures is really special and I think is an extremely important message for everybody out there who has their own identity definitely. and their own culture that they're proud of. Of course. So yes, uh, this concludes our interview here, our short interview. I am very excited, once again, if you guys haven't heard me say that, to watch you guys perform and the rest of Asia Times Square's schedule for tonight. Thank you so much for being on the show and we hope to see you guys again. Thank you. Thank you, Ethan.